so let us discuss queues first we'll start with queue okay okay so like how stack is a important data structure like that queue is yeah. also an important data structure in computer science okay so we discussed that stack is a lifo data structure lost in first out the yeah, item yeah. that entered the stack lost will be the one which will right. come out first exactly. okay. yeah but but queue is a fifo data structure okay okay let me take a word find right yes so uh, queue is called as yeah it is called as a fifo data structure fifo stands for first okay. in first out okay the item that entered the queue first will be the one which will come out first okay yeah. in yeah. stack we maintain only one pointer which is called as stack yeah. pointer yeah. and that stack pointer will always point to the top of the stack yeah initially the stack pointer sp will be minus 1 which means stack is yeah. empty right yeah when sp yeah. is equal to n minus 1 stack is full right okay. whereas q whereas q yeah. maintains two pointers one is called okay. as front the other one is called as rear okay right? yeah insertion will happen through the rear end yeah and deletion will happen from the front end okay so in the real world also if you consider a queue it is something like this yeah. okay yeah yeah so let us assume this is the front end of the this is the rear end of yeah. the queue right? right if somebody want to join the queue from where they will join from behind from the rear end from they the will join okay yeah if somebody goes out of the queue from where they will go out from the front from the front right initially yeah. initially the front and the rear will be minus 1 okay will be will be minus 1 minus 1 okay okay so front will be minus 1 rear also will be minus 1 which means okay the queue is empty right right when the queue is empty front and rear both yeah. will be minus 1 okay okay so basically this is an array that's all yeah. right so this is this is also an array so you can okay. assume that this is the zeroth position this is the first yeah. position this is the second yeah. position third so okay. on and so forth Right. If you insert one element into the queue now, say one item, yeah. that item will come here. Oh, okay. Okay, and insertion yeah. will happen from the rear end. Okay. So before insertion, what you have to do is, yeah, you have to check when you cannot insert. You cannot insert if the queue is already full. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so queue also has a capacity. Okay. Right. so yeah uh, so for a, uh, let us assume this queue's capacity is 5 okay okay it can hold yeah. five elements right right then so n is equal to 5 right yeah so yeah. if if rear is equal to n minus 1 then it means queue okay. is full okay okay regarding so if rear is already equal to n minus 1 then it means that right. the queue is full then you cannot insert Okay. So before inserting this i one, you have to check whether rear is equal okay. to n minus one or not. In okay. our case, okay. rear is minus one. Right. right. So n minus one yeah. is four. N is five. Yeah. So four is yeah. not equal to minus one. So q is not full. Right. Okay. Okay. If q okay. is not full, then what you have to do is, if this yeah. if this condition is not satisfied, then yeah. implement the rear pointer first. Okay. First to do rear plus plus. Okay. When you do rear plus plus, originally rear is minus one. So now what it will right. become? It zero. Will be zero. Okay. Now yeah. insert in that position. Let us assume the okay. name of the queue as Q. So Q of. As? Let us assume the name of the queue as Q. Okay. Okay. This Q okay. should have some name, right? Yeah. Right, right. It's an array. Let us assume its name itself is Q. Okay. Then we can say that Q of rear. Is equal yeah. whatever the item you want to insert. Okay. So this is the logic. This is the logic for inserting something to an. Okay. Okay. It, okay. it starts here. Yeah. So if you yeah, want to insert some element i one, then how you yeah. insert? 
first check whether okay. real is equal to n minus 1 or not right, if real right. is equal to n minus 1 then say that you cannot insert and quit otherwise okay. increase the in increment rear and keep that yeah. item under in the rear position okay so this is one operation insert yeah, yeah. the other operation that you can do is delete or remove okay so okay. this insertion is al also called as nq Okay. And Inserting okay. an item is also called as NQ. That is adding okay. an element to NQ. Similarly, okay. deleting is also called as DQ. Okay. Deleting is also called as DQ. DQ. Right. right. So right. when you when you cannot delete, if the queue yeah. is already empty, you cannot delete. Right. Right. So how do we check that? So if you yeah. want to delete something from the queue, then you first yeah. check whether the queue is already empty or not. Right. So if rear is equal to front, then it means that Q is empty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Initially, rear is minus one, front is minus one, which yeah, means rear is equal right. to front. Right. Okay. Yeah. But but later, also this condition may occur. Rear becomes equal to front, but rear and front okay. may not be minus one, but still that means okay. Q is empty. Okay. We'll understand okay. that. But uh, yeah. as of now, you understand this is the logic, right? If okay. rear is okay. equal to front, say that uh, Q is empty. You cannot yeah. delete anything, right? Okay. Yeah. If, if that is not the case, if rear yeah. is not equal to front, yeah. Then what you are, what you can do is, whatever the item the front is pointing, return that. Okay. So okay. Int x is equal to q yeah. of q okay front. Okay. Okay. Take the front item and store it in x. Okay. Okay. And then increment the front pointer, front plus plus. Okay. Okay. So already say we have inserted two elements. So I one is here, I two is here. Yeah. Now say that I am deleting I one. I am removing I one. Okay. Now I one okay. will go out. Okay. Right. Now I one yeah. will go out, and yeah. Uh, front will become front will point. Here. Right. Getting. Yeah. So that is the logic right okay. okay okay and and after after deleting you increment I the front, front pointer okay okay so 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 this is the core understanding of queues okay right? okay yeah mm. yeah so So we keep incrementing it until the empty, uh, queue becomes empty. Yeah, until the queue becomes empty. But here there is some logic is missing. See. Okay. Yeah. But when we are saying rear is equal to front, it is already empty, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what. Here rear becomes equal to front, right? Yeah. Yeah. But but the queue is not empty. I2 is there. Right, right. Are you getting? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, got it. Yeah. So.
Okay. So let us think of this way. Okay. See, we are inserting one item. I1 is inserted, right? Yeah. I2 is inserted. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. After inserting I1 and I2, what will be the value of rear? It will, uh, zero and one are gone. So, no, three. what will be? No, no. No. Initially, rear is minus one. Okay. Right, right, right. When you insert the first element, rear will become? Yeah, zero, one. Zero. When you insert the second element, rear will become? Okay, one. One. Right? Yeah. But what is front? Front is still minus one only. Okay. Front is still minus one only. But, right. but the Q is not empty because rear is not equal to front, which means Q has yeah. some item. Are you yeah. getting? So okay. here our understanding is front will not always point to the first element. Front okay. will always point to uh, the element ahead of the first element. Okay. okay. So zero okay. at zeroth position, if there is an element, then it will point to minus one. Oh, okay. okay. If first position there is an element, then print will point to zero. Okay. Right, right. With that okay. understanding, we'll do. Right? Okay. Now, front okay. is minus one, which means yeah. zeroth position there is an element. Okay. Right, right. So, rear is not equal to, rear is, is rear is equal to front? Not. No, rear is not equal to front. Okay. Yeah, not then you have to return the element, which is at front plus one. Right. Are you getting? Then, so first you increment the front pointer. We'll okay. do in the reverse way. It's not logic is okay. not this way, reverse way. First you increment the front pointer. Okay, okay. So now front will become what? Uh zero. Front will become zero. Yeah. Okay. Then you yeah. return, then you return yeah. Q of front. That's all. Okay, okay. Then you return Q right. of front, which means what? That okay. element is deleted. No more it is there. Okay. So okay. Getting, but, yeah, but now rear is pointing here, but front is pointing here. Okay, okay. So one more, one once again, one more time if you want to delete. Now I yeah. want, our assumption is I1 is removed. Logically it is removed. Right. Okay, physically right. it is there, but logically it is removed. Hmm? Yeah. If yeah. you if you perform one more deletion, again it checks whether rear is equal to front. No, rear is not right. equal to front. Okay. Yeah. Again front plus plus. So front will become okay. one. Return Q of front. Okay. Now both okay. now I2 also logically deleted. Okay. Right, right. Now front yeah. becomes equal to rear. So it means Q is empty. Right. Okay. Okay. Are you getting? Got it. Okay. See, anyway, we'll implement this logic. But actually, yeah. uh, this is called what we are discussing is called as linear Q. What we are discussing linear, is linear Q. Linear Q. Okay. 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 Uh, by yeah. default, the linear Q has some disadvantages. Okay. So it has, I mean, by its nature, it has some disadvantages. We'll discuss that. Okay. Assume a Q of size five, right? Zero, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah. So, or four, five, totally it can say six. It can hold six elements. Okay. Right? Initially, yeah. what, is, what is rear and what is front? Rear is, uh, both are minus one. Both are minus one. Okay. This is yeah. the front end. This is the rear end. Right? Yeah. yeah. If I insert, say I'm inserting 10. Right? First. Yeah. Insert 10. So when you insert right. 10, what will happen to rear? Uh, it goes to, uh, no, zero. Rear will become zero. The 10 will come here. Yeah. Okay. Right. What is front? Yeah. It'll, it'll be minus one. Minus one. Say, I mean, yeah. again, I'm inserting, say, 15. What will happen to rear? Right. It'll become one. Rear is one. And that 15 will come yeah. here. What is front? Right. Zero. No. Why front is zero? Front will be, front pointer will be updated only if you perform deletion. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. You're inserting, right? Minus one, sir. If front is minus one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Again, I'm inserting insert 30. Right. So tell the, tell these values. Yeah. Uh, rare is two. 
Front is minus one. Thirty will come to which yeah. position? Second. Second. So again, I'm inserting. Yeah. Insert forty. So real yeah, will be three, three and four and minus, minus one. one. Forty comes yeah. here. Okay. Right. Yeah. Say again, I'm inserting. Insert forty-three. Yeah. Rear rear will be four. four. Front is yeah. minus one. Minus one. So before yeah. inserting, it will check whether the Q yeah. is full or not. The logic for checking Q is full is full or not is whether rear is equal to n minus one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In our case, n is yeah. six. N is six. Right. Right. Yeah. Again, yeah. insert. Right. So I am inserting fifty-one. Okay. So what will happen? Rear is five. F front is minus one. Rear is five. Front is minus one. Okay. So yeah. again, I'm trying to insert. Insert fifty-seven. Yeah. What will happen? Uh, it won't. It can't take it anymore. Yeah, good. It can't. Yeah, yeah, because Q is full, right? Right. Yeah. So, so forty-three uh, updated here, fifty-one I'll update. Okay. Now the Q yeah. is full. This is fine. Yeah. Up yeah. to this, the logic is fine, right? Yeah. Yeah. Say now I am deleting some item. Okay. okay. Yeah. Say I'm I'm deleting, the de I'm calling delete of delete. Just I'm calling delete. Okay. okay. So yeah. what will happen? Yeah. Delete function. What it will do? It will remove from the front end. Yeah. First it will increment the front. Okay. Yeah, increment. Right. So when you when when you call delete, it will increment the front. So front will yeah. become zero. zero. And whatever at that location it will return. That value is ten. Right. Yeah. Which means that value is removed. No more it is there. Yeah. Are you getting? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, got it. Now here comes the issue with linear queue. Now okay. the queue is having an empty location or not? The queue is having an empty location or not? No, it's not. Why? You have deleted one item, it's... no? Oh, deleted. Yeah. Now it is having. Yeah. After deleting, yeah. Yeah, it's having on empty location. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now, if I try to insert, say seventy-two. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Then, as per our yeah. logic, what which will happen? Will it insert or 70. not? Uh, it can. Yeah, it will. Oh, how? What is the logic? Before inserting, what we do? We have to check uh, if rear But, is equal to front. No, no, not rear equal to front. Yeah, we increment uh, rear. No, no. Before inserting, we check what whether rear is equal to n minus one. So yeah. what is rear? Rear is uh, now okay. five. It is yeah, equal it to is n minus one. Right. It's not equal. Yeah. It is equal to n minus one. Right. Not equal. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So, so it, it will, can't take. So it will not take. But actually, there is an empty position. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. Are you getting? Got it. So this is the drawback with the uh, linear queue. Right? Okay. Okay. So 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 once again, if I delete, yeah. Again, if I delete, then what will happen to F? Uh, one. One, and it will return which element? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Yeah. Again, if I delete. Yeah. Or I'll write here. Again, if I delete, yeah. what will happen to F? It'll become. Uh, Two, two, and it will return thirty. Thirty. Once again, if I delete, yeah, F will be three. Three, and it will return forty. Right. So it means all these positions were deleted. Yeah, yeah. Only two elements are in the queue, but still you cannot insert. Right. Yeah, got it. Because your insertion logic will check whether rear is equal to n minus one or not. Yes, n minus one, right. so it won't delete. So it okay, will assume okay. it will think that the queue is full, but actually it is not. Right. Okay. Once again, if you delete, what will happen yeah. to front? Four. Four. And it will return. Yeah. Forty-three. Forty-three. Once again, if you delete, F will become five and it will return fifty-one. Fifty-one. Okay. Now, now what is F? Five. Of uh, five. What is R? Uh, R is 
rear minus one no no r is see rear no okay. one rear is what after inserting all okay okay fine rear is also five okay right so now yeah, front yeah, okay. becomes equal to rear okay right right which means the q is okay. empty right got it so whenever front yeah. becomes equal to rear you can make yeah. front equal to rear equal to minus one okay okay so that at least after that you can perform insertion okay are you getting got it but uh, but still uh, this is not a complete uh, algorithm because as of the drawbacks which we have discussed right 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 because right. once you completely inserted and rear becomes uh, five no n minus yeah. 1 after that it will yeah, not yeah. allow you to insert even if you delete some items okay okay this is the drawback with linear queue okay right to right. overcome this drawback actually we consider the queue is as, as a circular queue okay so, so the circular queue basically it's an array only but it is just for our understanding or the for the yeah. way of implementation we'll assume it to be a circular one okay okay so yeah. let us we'll discuss that later but yeah. now let us try to implement this whatever we have discussed okay so if you want to write a program for this queue then how we will write yeah yeah mm, so public class queue demo yeah so here we will declare a queue say yeah. int, int queue of size yeah. 5 it can hold 5 yeah. elements Right, right. So int q equal to new int of five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Int n is equal to five. Right. Okay. Yeah. And we need two pointers. Int front. Yeah. Front equal okay. to minus one. Right. Rear is equal to minus one. Rear is equal to minus one. Yeah. Now, what are the typical operations we can perform in a queue? Insert and delete. Yeah. yeah right. Insert will not return anything, but it will take a parameter. Void insert. Yeah. Yeah. Int x. Okay. Okay. Before yeah. inserting, you should check whether the queue is full yeah. or not. Right. If so rear is equal to rear is equal to what? Front is equal to minus one. Not minus one. N minus one. Deletion, right? Yeah. This is insertion. Okay. Okay. When you cannot insert, if the queue is full, you cannot insert. Yeah, the queue is full, right? So the condition for queue is full is what? Rear equal to n minus one. Hmm? Yeah. 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 So if rear is n minus one, system yeah. dot out dot uh, print ln. Yeah. Queue is queue full. Is full, right? Okay. Yeah. And return. There is nothing to do. Yeah. Yeah. Right. If that is not the case, then increment yeah. the rear pointer. Rear okay, plus yeah. plus. Increment right, rear. Right. Right. And Q of rear. Yeah. Yeah. Equal to x. Yeah. Right. This is insertion. Okay. 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 Next, delete. Int delete. Yeah. Yeah. So delete will not take any argument, but it will return something. Okay. When you cannot delete, if the queue is empty, you cannot delete. Empty. Right. So if rear is equal to front. Yeah. Which, which means the queue is empty. Right. Right. System dot out dot print ln. Queue is empty. Yeah. Queue is empty. Yeah. But anyway, this function should always return something. So when the queue Got is it. empty, let us return minus one. Okay. Okay. Which means yeah. it's understanding that it's empty. Right. Right. Okay. Otherwise, what we do? Front yeah. plus plus. Okay. Front plus plus. Yeah. Front yeah. plus plus, and return. Yeah. Queue of front. Right. Return queue of front. Right. Okay. Yeah. So. This is the core logic for insertion and deletion. Okay. okay. Now we can write the main method. 
Yeah. Public static void main. Yeah, string org. Yeah, string org. What's the class name? Q demo. You, yeah. Create an object. Yeah, okay. Q demo. Q new Q demo. Yes, yeah. equal to new Q demo. Yeah. And then QD dot. Yeah. Uh, insert. Insert. Yeah. Okay, and then so, QD dot. So say okay. that after inserting, let us display what it is inserted. Okay, so that we'll get the output. Okay. Okay. So we'll, okay. we'll say that system dot out dot println. Yeah. System dot out dot println. Yeah. Uh, item inserted is. Yeah. Hundred. Uh, plus x. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. Let yeah. us also display what is the current value of rear and front. Okay. Rear is equal to plus rear. Yeah, yeah right. Plus front is equal front to equal to plus front. Yeah. Okay, so that we know what is front, what is rear after every insertion. Okay. Similarly, uh, uh, after delete. Del deleting, we can display here itself. Okay, it is returning, right? Yeah, right, right. So first, let us fill the queue. Right. Q D yeah, dot insert, delete. say two hundred. Okay. Oh. Okay. I'll copy this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, five inserts. Yeah. Q D dot insert, say two forty. Qd yeah. dot insert say three twenty. Yeah. Qd dot insert say seven fifty. Like okay. That. Yeah. Now five insert done. Okay. Yeah. Say now yeah. I'm trying to insert one 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 more element. Yeah. It should say Q is full, right? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. already Q is full. Five five. Our Q size is five only. Hmm? Right. Now you can delete. Okay. System dot out dot printer len. Yes, yeah. delete will return some item. Okay. Okay. Yeah. System dot out dot printer len. Uh, the item deleted is. Yeah. Plus QD dot delete. Right. So whatever it returns, it will display. Right. Okay. Yeah. Like that, we can give five times. Item, Three, yeah. four, five. Okay. Right. If I try to give, if I try to perform one more deletion, it will say that Q is empty already. Yeah. 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 So for the sixth deletion, it will say that Q is empty. Okay. Right. For this, it will say that it's full. Q, is, Q is full. Yeah. For this, it will say that this one, two, three, four, five. For this, it will say that. Yeah. Is empty. Is empty. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Close the main method. Close the class. Yeah. And save this file as q demo dot right. right. File save as uh, q demo dot java. Yeah. And save. So let us execute it. Yeah. So it's D or F, F, C, D, J, D, K, D, J, D, K, C, D, bin. So Java C, yeah. Q demo dot Java. Yeah. Oh, return Q of front. I think this Q should be caps. Oh, okay. yeah. Hmm. Compile. Cannot find symbol Q. Q U E. So it is Q U E only. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's not. It's not U E. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Save. Again, compile. 
Yeah. It's compiled, execute. Yeah. Item yeah. inserted is okay. 100, okay. Yeah, rear is zero, right. front minus one. Only rear is changing, right? right? Then yeah, it is anchor. Yeah. Item right, delete. Right. Okay. Here also we can display rear and front for our understanding. Okay. Rear won't yeah, change, but front it. will change. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. So, for example, this part we can copy. Yeah. What is rear? What is front? Yeah. That we can display here also. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Save it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so actually, this is main function, no? Oh yeah. Okay. Here you cannot use a rear. You have to use qd dot rear. Okay. Okay. Qd dot rear. Everywhere you have to use okay. like that. Right. Right. Okay. So. Here also, qd dot rear. Yeah. Also, qd dot rear. Qd dot rear. Qd dot rear. Yeah. Qd dot rear. Okay. Yeah. Similarly, wherever front is there also, it should be. Yeah. Qd dot QD front. Dot. Right. Use the object. Okay. Qd dot. Save. Oh. Yeah. Save it. Compile. Yeah. yeah. Execute. Right. Okay, so now it says yeah. this is insertion. Well, deleting yeah, error does not change, but front is changing. Yeah. Okay. Right, right, right. Initially, when front is minus one, actually it will delete zero element. Okay. Yeah. Okay, when front okay. is zero, it will delete first element. When front is one, it will delete right. second element. So okay, on and so forth. Okay. When front is four, it will okay. delete fifth element. Okay. Right. So this is about the implementation of linear cube. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay, Nivedita, we'll stop here. We'll discuss tomorrow morning right okay yeah so we'll continue with uh, trees and binary trees right 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 okay thank you thank you so can you send me uh, today's recorded session both of them um, okay see i'll send tomorrow everything right okay yeah right because right. it's in different different system i have to check okay hmm? okay 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 Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah.